Hey guys, so I haven't had a Dollar Tree haul up on my channel in a while. I mean, I just posted one Friday, but other than that, it's been like two weeks. And you guys know there was weeks I had multiple Dollar Tree hauls. Dollar Tree is probably one of my favorite stores. I think it's because it's the one store where I don't like think everything out. If you guys have seen any of my cause box um, add-ons, my FabFitFun add-ons, you know I really think about purchases before I make them. I did tons of research. I'd go on the regular website, see how much it was on the regular website. Was I really saving money? I would look into reviews. It takes a lot for me to spend a good chunk of money. Um, FabFitFun just had another surprise sale and I didn't get anything. I considered it for a while, but I had just dropped $300 in the edit sale. So I just, you know, I just can't do that. But for some reason I walk into Dollar Tree and it's like, oh, everything's a dollar, it's fine. And then next thing I know, I had a $90 bill. But I got a lot of stuff and it is all stuff that is useful, that is going to be used. So this is going to be a bigger haul. I figured I would show you guys I got some really, really nice things. So I am trying to organize my apartment. Uh, we are basically all moved in, quarantine kind of helped. We got everything done. We finally got the living room set up. All the rooms are basically set up the way we want them. Now it's basically just like organizing because the apartment is a lot smaller than we originally planned for. And we do have like a lot of things. So it's trying to organize the things, decide what we don't need, purge, that kind of stuff. So thankfully there are, there's a savers open in my area now. So as we clean, we can kind of get rid of the old things. So anyway, I, that's why you're gonna see quite a few organizational stuff at first. So I grabbed these. These are really nice because they stack on top of each other. So as you can see, they do fit inside of each other. So it's nice if you're not using them to store it quickly. To get it to be used so they stack on top of each other, there's these little clips on the side that you literally, my cat is going crazy, that you literally bend over just like this. And then it'll sit right on top, as you can see. So I got four of them. I'm probably going to do two and two. Um, I have like a little coffee bar. And I have like hot chocolate packets, tea bags, K cups. So I'm thinking this will be perfect for that. So that way I can just grab things easier instead of having the packaging. Because I have like two big boxes with hot chocolate. It's taking up a lot of room. So I feel like this will look a lot sleeker. It'll be a lot easier to grab. So I figured they only had this color. I mean, it's going, it's not visible. It's going to be in a buffet. Um, that is what I use for the coffee box. So they're odd doors. If not, I probably would have tried to get a more neutral color. But that's the one thing with Dollar Tree. They do have nice organizational baskets. But a lot of times you are not going to find them in neutral colors. Usually it's like these colors that are available. The neutrals fly off the shelf. So talking about that, if you guys did watch uh, Friday's Dollar Tree haul, I was able to score these. These only come usually at the beginning of the school year. Like, you know, back to school time. These are the Teacher Tree. I think that's what that, yes, Teaching Tree is the name brand. It is through Dollar Tree. It is a Dollar Tree brand. They have like a little corner that has like all educational teacher stuff. And this is part of that. I was able to score four of the clear ones, but I did feel like I needed more. So I went back and the blue does go with my room. So I figured at least it still matches. These are really nice for paper, stickers, pens, markers. It is not a very big box. So, you know, this won't work for like under the bathroom or under the kitchen. I mean, unless you have like a lot of small things, you want like a lot of makeup. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Um... I could even consider that we'll see but anyway so my idea is I do have a lot of um stickers a lot of crafting goods you guys are gonna see some of that in this video there's definitely a lot in Fridays if you guys want to watch it had tons of name brands they had Heidi Swap um memory keepers they had stuff they usually see at Michael's at Dollar Tree for a dollar so I couldn't mass I couldn't pass that up but basically it has one clip that you pull down and the cover stays attached so that is really nice so we definitely have multiple purposes so i grabbed three of the blue for me as you can see this is all dollar tree don't mind the burlington bag i just have it in a burlington bag i live on the third floor so i tend to use reusable bags uh especially dollar tree bags they are so thin they rip so easily and then i grabbed three green for my mom my mom thought these were so cute when i showed it to her and my mom was like, ooh, that'd be really nice for me. I don't care about the color. I'm not keeping them out. So she's like, whatever color they have. And it was either pink or green. And my mom's just not a total pink person. So I grabbed her three of the green. I grabbed one of these. They had tons of crazy colors. I was like, I really want that. But this is something I'm going to leave out on my dining table if I have people over. So I said, I don't want a funky color. 
So I was just like, ah, eh. and then I happened to catch a white one. So I was like, wow, this is perfect. So this is amazing for a party. I mean, it's only a dollar. You cannot beat that. You can put chocolate in the middle, do all different kinds of fruit. You can put dip in the middle and do all kinds of chips or, or veggies. So this has so many purposes. I like that there is a lot of options. Usually you see smaller ones. So I can even do like half veggies, half chips. Um, basically, there's nothing else to say about this, but it is, it's literally called a chip, a chip and dip tray. And it is, um, I mean, it's not like super duper sturdy, but I don't see it breaking either. You guys can see I'm literally tugging at it and it kind of just bends a little. So I feel like this is literally going to last quite a while for only a dollar. And then they already have their floral arrangements out. Um, I've been really, really attracted to um, sunflowers recently, and it definitely is a fall flower. So I'm going to make some kind of fall arrangement. I keep waiting for our Dollar Tree to get the fall items. I've been watching other YouTubers, and oh my God, they look amazing. You guys, keep an eye out. The second it is available, I am getting it. That is why I keep going in. I keep waiting for the fall stuff, and then I keep spending money on other things. But um, if you don't want to wait for my video, definitely look up other Dollar Tree YouTubers. F type in Fall Decor 2020. They have amazing things right now. Just not at my local Dollar Tree yet. So the most fall thing I could find was basically this. So I am I have, I have am going to decorate for the seasons. I will do videos of that. So um, I figured this would be a nice floral arrangement. And you get, well, let me see, how many come in one? One, two three four five six you get six sunflowers for each pick so that is not bad at all so this was only three dollars and look how full that bouquet looks because you get six in each one and i grabbed three they have tons of different colors tons of different flowers like i said i've just been attracted to sunflowers lately and i grabbed it's gonna be super random guys it's whatever i'm grabbing i know i grabbed two of these but right now i'm only seeing one but uh, I have a YouTuber that swears by these. Um, you know, these are good for the summer because you're, you're wearing like little slip-on shoes. You're not wearing full-on shoes like boots or sneakers for the most part. So I know I've been wearing like these little slip-on shoes. So these are perfect because they aren't seen in the shoe because they're very low on the foot. And these especially, I noticed that they are, they're one, they're microfiber and that's, that's great. And it's a non-slip gel tab with aloe infused. I don't know if you guys can see that this is actually a dollar tree product i was pretty surprised when i saw that i did not think it was i guess sc is their brand but um you know it's not that it's just a you know little sock it's uh, literally made with microfiber and it's aloe infused like that is amazing i bought the nude and the black i just don't see the black right now but i grabbed two of these and like i said i am organizing so i grabbed two of these i actually saw these before i saw the pink ones I, the the, the not the pink specifically but like the style this is the style i was going for and then i kind of forgot i had these in my car and i got when i got to the register i just bought them anyway i'm sure i will use them for something on um, these stack like this so they do sit inside of each other if you need to store them but if you want to use them you have to do horizontal and vertical kind of thing um i might i don't think there's any other way to connect it no must not be to say because there are all these like little holes over here so i thought maybe there was a different way but uh, anyway um so i will find use of these um it even says it's good for toys kitchen office garbage or bathrooms i do want to organize not only under my coffee bar under my kitchen sink under my bathroom sink so i will make use of these and then one other thing i bought for organization i am thinking the bathroom most likely for these these are bookshelves by that teaching tree see it's only really called book bin and they do click into each other if you want to do that it is a little bit of a process it's not super easy but basically it kind of like the see how the sides have like an edge you can kind of get the edges to connect but i am probably not well i could do it that way but my thought process is i do have um if you guys saw friday's video i have clear bins that have a lid so i'm thinking because it has a lid i can stack it on top of each other and then i'm thinking i only bought four and i honestly think my bathroom sink can fit more so instead of buying more of those i was thinking i can stack two and then there still be room on top and then i can stand these on top 
sitting on top with things. I think this is going to be really good for like the bigger bottles, shampoo, conditioner, hand soaps. This way I can be able to see everything and grab it out and go. Um, I've seen people use these for bathrooms. If you guys watch other Dollar Tree organization, I've seen people use these for pantries and they will put, um, oatmeal packets, granola bars. And it just, it's, it, it's actually very smart. I probably would have not thought of it myself if I hadn't seen those videos. So that's why sometimes it's I love Dollar Tree videos. People get really, really creative with what they find there. But um, I'm trying to see, do I have it together? Oh, yeah, see? So that's kind of how it's... No, that wasn't sturdy at all. There is a way, though. I promise you guys. I've seen people do it. But, I, like, it, it's, it's sitting on top of something. I don't really care if it connects. That's fine. But anyway, uh, there was only three left. I honestly wanted four. I tend to buy things in four or two. Plus, I figured two baskets stacked up on one side of the pole because there is a pole under my bathroom sink like everybody else two baskets stacked up on the other side of the pole and then i was thinking if the width even fits i'm not sure i was thinking two of these on one side two of these on the other side it might only fit one on each so i might have an extra i can do for my pantry we will see worst comes to worst i can always give them to my mom to help her organize her space so i mean they were only a dollar and it just sometimes it's really hard to find those so when you see them you gotta grab them and then like i said um they had oh these are not name brand these are crafter square so these are dollar tree brands but they honestly looked name brand that's why i was about to say they were i literally thought these were stickers from michael's they have really been stepping up with the crafter square has looked amazing if you guys have a crafter square corner any dollar tree that's like over a certain amount of square feet i think it's a thousand something has to have a crafter corner i mean for a dollar you cannot beat that like they have stuff that like little wooden figurines for you to color they have canvases they have paint they have so so many good things that if you go to any other store it's going to cost you so much so these are their stickers they are foil stickers so they are very very nicely done i grabbed two different kinds this one kind of has like an i love you theme like it says true love i love you there's a lot of hearts a lot of flowers a lot of red you can see this is all this all says love going around it but it is kind of for a planner because there is like to do at the bottom there's big day so i mean you can think about that for like a wedding if you want to say that's your big day but any big day if you have a day that's cons like an anniversary you can use that in your planner um, or like a day you got promoted or whatever then there's the ones that say day off uh document it's just, and then this one comes with 58 so it is double-sided you got a lot of stickers for one dollar and then this one is less lovey themed it just says today this week remember document day off payday today to do things like that and again same thing this has 58 it is double-sided this I grabbed. I do work at the school, so I just thought it was so cute. I think the kids will get a kick out of a lot of the our kids love puzzles. And it is kind of educational because it is the solar system. So um we have fifth graders in our class and they do have to take like the science MCAS. So I'm pretty sure the planets would be involved in science. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not the teacher, I just work alongside the teacher. So I mean she's I've always brought little gifts in and she always um appreciates it. And I just going to, it's just so cute, the little planets. I couldn't, this is the full puzzle in the back. So I could not pass that up. So I thought this would be cute for our fifth graders. So I grabbed that. Oh, here's the other black pair of socks. And then I just grabbed a pack of pens. I mean, they're only a dollar. Um, I mean, Dollar Tree always has pens, but usually it's smaller packs, like a five pack, four pack. Uh, this time of year, because it's back to school, they do like the bigger pack. So this is a 10. And it says it's a ballpoint pen and it writes very smooth. So I was like, that sounds good. So I got a pack of that, whether it's for work, home, journaling, planning, whatever. And then I grabbed two washi tapes. One is a very big, thick one. And it says, love is always the answer. I thought this would be very cute for, um, I have a scrapbook that I do with my boyfriend. I did it for our first anniversary. It says, our uh, let's say our first year something like that and it's pictures of all our dates i have not touched it since so i really got to get on that i got to print some pictures that might be like a nice like when i'm stuck at home in the winter kind of vibe i mean it is quarantine right now but it is nice out so i do try to get out um even if it's the porch to read a book you know just to feel the fresh air but come winter time i could definitely see myself just sitting at home i don't know this sounds so like fake but like 
making a hot chocolate, working on my scrapbook with my love. It just gets dark so early. It's why one of the reasons I don't like the winter. I already have like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say issues with depression. I am not like diagnosed with depression. I don't take antidepressants. I don't see a therapist. But I definitely notice times where I'm more down and the winter is definitely one of those times. So I thought this would be a cute little project and it says love is always the answer. So I thought that'd be cute for our scrapbook. And then this one comes with five pieces, but of course it is thinner. But I went, wow, a dollar for five. That's like 20 cents each. 20, 40, 60. Yeah, I want to make sure I didn't lie to you guys. So there's a bunch of different ones. There's like a purple glitter. There's stars. There's stripes. There's straight pink. And then like this one that looks like like little arrows. So I grabbed that. So that's it for this bag. Now I got this big box. This was actually from Vibelow. If any of you guys are curious, I love using it. Oh, yeah, yeah, to hold a lot when I have a lot of shopping. So I usually keep this in my trunk. I actually have two. I have one under my desk to hold like tons of like craft stuff and then one in the trunk. So again, it's going to be super random. I was running out of paper towels, so I grabbed two rolls. Um, I love these. I love the ones where it's like custom size, where you can pick a size. You can make like a half size or a full sheet. And it comes with 140 sheets. I mean, you can't beat that for a dollar. So we were running low, so I grabbed that. Instead of going to a big grocery store or a big, you know, like a Walmart, whatever, and having to get like a big pack, those will hold me over. One day, well, I don't know. We don't have a lot of space in this apartment. I used to bulk buy. I used to buy like a 24-pack or a 12-pack. Same thing with toilet paper. But this apartment is, we're very limited. So I'm better off just buying rolls like that. I go to Dollar Tree enough. So I haven't bought a pack of paper towels probably since we first moved in, which was in like January. I've just kind of been doing that. And then, oh my God, if you guys know one of my favorite Dollar Tree YouTubers, her name is Thrifty Tiffany. She is from Dow South. I think she's from Georgia. Um, she has an amazing personality and she does Dollar Tree hauls like every week. And she talked about these. She actually tried them on camera. I did not see her try the Buffalo Queso. She did the bacon habanero. And I think the other one was like a jalapeno. Uh, she does like spicy. And she said, I don't know how true this is, but she said these late July snacks can be found at Whole Foods, which I kind of believe because they are made with organic yellow corn and they are non-GMO certified. So this is definitely like a, has a whole, has a whole food vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like it's vegan, it's kosher. There's no high toast, uh, no high fructose corn syrup, zero grams of fat, no artificial preservatives or flavors, colors, whatever. It even tells you it does not uh, process peanuts in this facility, 100% whole grain. Like it just, you know, it's like just like a healthier snack. Oh, okay, so these are the other flavors. This is jalapeno lime and nacho chipotle. So she definitely tried was the bacon habanero. I remember that because she said she's not a big pork fan, so she was a little nervous about this one. And then I want to say she tried the nacho chipotle because I remember her saying it kind of tasted like the nacho cheese Doritos. But um, anyway, so it's not that I don't want to try these on camera for you guys. I just, I have so many open bags of chips right now and I don't want these to get stale. But definitely keep an eye out for these. I know she tried them on camera and she loved them. And like they are a lot healthier for you. And uh, the flavors sound really interesting. So I got the bacon habanero. And then this one, um is I had she didn't even hold this one is the buffalo queso I love love buffalo and I love cheese so this is the one I'm really excited for but I do love bacon I'm just not a big spicy fan but she said it wasn't that spicy so she said like oh I want to compare it to like a hot cheeto it definitely has a kick but not like a hot cheeto so I can probably eat those I like a kick that's why I like buffalo but I don't like like super spicy so grab those and then I just grabbed a plain tortilla my boyfriend loves just plain tortillas and it's on the border so I figured, why not? I'm pretty sure this is a name brand. That is actually a name of a restaurant, I'm pretty sure. So I don't know if it's a restaurant or if it's totally different things, but whatever. Um, it was a dollar and it has no artificial flavors or colors, no preservatives, gluten-free. It literally says no SMG, uh, no hydro hydrate, hydrogenated oils, no cholesterol, no preservatives, zero grams of trans fat made with sea salt. Mexican Grill and Cantina. Yeah, that is a restaurant, but anyway. So I grabbed a bag of those. If you guys are curious, this is four ounces. These are 5.5. I do think this is like the full size bag. Um, like I said, I 
these are seen at Whole Foods. They are, these are they gluten-free too. Oh, and it's hard to find gluten-free snacks. So yeah, definitely keep an eye out. If you guys have celiac disease, this is amazing. And I'm curious, did, it say, did I say it was vegan? I feel like I said it was vegan. I don't know, there's a little thing that says dairy, but it doesn't say no dairy. Is that warning me if there is dairy? I don't know. I don't usually have to pay attention to those things, but that's because I'm, I'm lucky like that. I feel bad for people that have to pay attention to those things because that seems like a pain. But it's out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Interesting. But anyway, and then I feel like this does come in bigger packs. Maybe this is just like the smaller pack. I mean, it is a dollar. And then I grabbed this. I have grabbed many of these at Dollar Tree. I mean, it's only a dollar. It's really good. I will pour it over ice. Um, I actually have this brand in um, K-Cups. They are one of the cheapest around. I'll get them at Jabla. I'll get a pack of 80 for like $20. But um, I've gotten the caramel. I've gotten the mocha. This is the first time I've ever seen raspberry mocha. And I love raspberry mixed with chocolate. So I figured that was a good score. Something new for me to try. And then I grabbed uh this calligraphy book uh like i said i do scrapbook i wrote like our first year like in really pretty calligraphy but i'm trying to get better at it so i have seen like i've been watching youtube videos on it if you guys uh, are interested amanda rachel lee she's one of my favorite for calligraphy and bullet journaling and uh, a lot of people will just use crayola markers you don't have to buy expensive crazy markup and this one is specifically to practice with um crayola cra two kinds either the crayola broadline markers or the super tip markers so and it literally just has like different letters for you to trace different numbers for you to practice and then towards the end it has whole words for you to practice so i thought this was really cute for a dollar they had tons of coloring books but they were like really thin not that that's not worth it for a dollar it is i just have so many but i just figured i'd say that in this video if any of you guys are interested in that and then I just grabbed this little lotion. I'm always lotioning my hands, especially in the summer. I have one on my desk at all times. Sometimes I will get in bed and I'll be like, oh God, I gotta get up. I gotta go to the desk to get lotion. Like if I'm getting up in bed, sometimes I just wanna lotion up a little. So I figured this little one would be cute in my bedside table, either in a drawer or on top. Um, and this one looks like, um, like it has like the dupe, like the look of Aveeno. I know Aveeno has this same like tan packaging with the, well, I don't even know what you would consider that like wheat but it's made with oatmeal I know Avino has that same kind of type of thing so I've never used this I don't know if it's com comparable comparable I always wonder what the word is to Avino but anyway so I figured I would get it and try it and then there's only a few more things guys I might split this into two hauls because your girl's hungry and I think my boyfriend just showed up with Wendy's so I'm gonna just I think I'll show you like two more things. Okay. So I another Dollar Tree YouTuber, Jennifer Mowen, I think is her name. She does a hack. She uses the glass ones. That the, a glass one alone is a dollar. So this one is two for a dollar. I don't think it matters if it's glass or plastic. I figured this way I can do my car, my boyfriend's car. But I have gotten bat salts from Dollar Tree. Um it would it's usually to put in a basin for my feet because I don't really take bats. Uh but it takes me a while to get through the bat salt because I don't do it all the time. And sometimes I was like, oh, I can always give a backup as a gift, but I would, it's taking up room, honestly, so I kind of just want to use it uh, in, under my sink. So I thought this would be a good way to use it. From what she mentioned, she said she puts bat salts in the glass salt and pepper shakers, and she puts them in her car to make the car smell good. So, and if you guys have seen any of my Dollar Tree, I have like the really nice bat salts that are like chamomile, rose petal, lavender, the ones that Dollar Tree had for a while that had like really aesthetic packaging you know look like it was from Dollar Tree I thought it was really cute for like baskets I might still save those and end up buying another thing about salts it all depends on when I'm done organizing how much room I have I'm just really trying to be more I shouldn't say minimalistic because I'm not minimalistic at all I love things but I'm trying to just really cut down I have been really good about using my stuff because I'm really bad at like saving product because I'm like, oh, that was so expensive. Let me save it so it lasts forever. And then I'm not really getting the benefits because if you're not using it daily, like I have a moisturizer I paid very good money for. It's all organic. It was from Origins and it helps get rid of acne. And, you know, you're supposed to use it like twice a day at morning and at night. And I was only using it maybe every other day once. And then I was getting mad that I didn't see results. And I'm like, girl, just use it. I have two other moisturizers from FabFitFun. So I was just like, just use it. So I've been using it twice a day the last few days and I really have noticed a difference. 
Um, I mean, you guys can see I definitely still have acne, but I feel like it's getting lighter. I have a brightening mask that's really supposed to help with acne marks. So I'm going to start using that. Um, I've been get just, I just need to start using the products and getting rid of excess. And then choose my favorite product and just stick with one or just stick with what's coming in my subscription boxes i have like an overload right now because it's stuff i've been buying and subscription boxes in one so I, I need to just start using product and then last but not least for this video again i've seen i don't think was it a dollar tree youtuber or was it just like a random hacks video i don't remember but basically this is a display easel so you can put like some people have like collective plates or decorative plates or um I don't know I've seen people use this for different things but basically I'm going to use it as a phone holder I'm looking for my phone and that's what I'm filming with but basically you put it doesn't work this way because it will slide through I mean if you have a uh an iPhone um plus it probably would wouldn't do that but I have the regular iPhone so it only works horizontal which is how I watch my videos anyway so that's fine I have one I bought from five below I will show you guys because it's literally right behind me but it was obviously five dollars and honestly it was worth the five dollars i use it every single night but i have not been able to find it again i bought this a while ago and if i was able to find it again i honestly would repurchase it but i've never seen it again so i figured i would use this kind of as a hack but basically this is the one from five below uh you can see it even has like a little hole so you would thread your charger through this and then it can go right here between the teeth and then you have your phone sitting here and it charges. Every night I put my phone on this after I set my alarm and when I wake up, it's standing right there on the side of my bed and I love that. So this is just kind of me doing the same thing. The only difference is the phone can only be horizontal. So, I mean, $5, $1. I mean, it wouldn't kill me, like I said, if they had this again, I would have. I've been, I bought this many moons ago, uh, like, over a year ago probably longer than that and i've never seen it again so i figured i would just try this and there was only one left so it was meant to be all right so this box is still full of stuff but that will be it for today i am hitting like 27 minutes so i probably should have done this better and maybe split it up by category I definitely didn't do that so the next video is gonna be more random stuff but there is some categorization I can tell you right now the next one is going to be a lot of food a lot of teeth stuff and books I got I scored some really really nice books so keep an eye out that eye out for that if you are interested uh, this I might end up being like maybe a Dollar Tree week uh, my cause box is supposed to come in today so that probably will be a video if you guys don't know I try to post Monday through Friday it doesn't always happen this following week I didn't get to post on the Thursday I might not be able to post on Thursdays at least for the next month because we are doing we are in the summer school program and on Thursdays we're going on field trips so it's been making it kind of hard for me um I came home exhausted hot and sweaty I literally took a cold shower and a nap afterwards it was disgusting it was at a zoo the next one's at a beach so I got home and I was literally like just done for the day that took like everything out of me <laughs> but um that was the reason I didn't post but I did post Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Friday so I feel like this week's gonna be all Dollar Tree I have tons of stuff I might split it up into like four videos um because I even still have bags behind me so and then I will have one cause box video maybe to just break it up a little bit so if you guys want to see what's in my cause box if you want to see what else I got at Dollar Tree definitely subscribe look out for those videos if you, this is content you enjoy I have my Ipsy Glam Plus bag coming in I am a subscription box lover I have like I said I just dropped some money on the FabFitFun edit sale so that will be coming in so I do a lot of hauls a lot of unboxings Dollar Tree is one of my favorite stores I know Dollar Tree YouTubers are one of my favorites I watch them almost every day so if you are into Dollar Tree if you want to see cool new ways to use things like I just did with the display easel like I just showed you with the book bins. Uh, maybe I'll even do some organization videos for you guys. Maybe you guys can kind of see me organizing under the bathroom, under the sink. If that interests you guys, comment, let me know. Um, I want to get a lot done before I go back to work in September. So I'm going to be organizing and cleaning like a mad woman. But that's basically it. So like I said, subscribe if this is the kind of stuff you are into. I do post quite a bit and I think it's worth it. But um, I enjoy it either way. So. 
that's it i appreciate you guys be safe